up boys and girls? Back at it again with another YouTube vlog. Episode, episode three, I think, of the bulk. But I gotta be real with you. Since I started the bulk, the last episode, like the time frame from this episode to last episode, which I posted yesterday, has been like a month. Uh, since I started the bulk, man, I've been just, as you can see, in hibernation, growing out my beard, eating some food, training well, and took a little break from the camera, to be honest with you. Needed a little break. Been going for like two years straight, just content nonstop. So I took a little break from the long form stuff. I was still doing, you know, TikTok. But yeah, now we're back in the Iron Chicken and we're going to be consistent on this bulk, on this bulking series. So yeah, episode three today. But yeah, we are doing chest and arms today and that is day one of my new split. My new split is tailored towards me and my weak points. Uh, so what we're gonna be doing, uh, so the split we're gonna be doing is chest with a little bit of arms. Uh, that's day one. Day two is a quad focused leg day. I'm very hamstring dominant. So we're giving our quads the, like their own day. Uh, and then day three is going to be, fuck, what is day three? Day three is going to be back with shoulders. So the main priority would be back. And, and then day four, you know, would be a rest day. And then day five would be arms with a little bit of chest, giving my arms their own day as well, because they're a huge weak point of mine. Got really long, you know, freaking limbs that I gotta fill them out if I wanna look, you know, classic on stage. So that's day five. And then day six is a hammy focused leg day um, with a little bit of quads. And then day seven is shoulders with a little bit of back width, because I'm trying to bring up the width of my back more than anything on my back. But yeah, the strong points of the physique, definitely the shoulders, uh, the chest, and the back, like the detail on the back. However, the weak points, the arms, the quads, um, and uh, my back width. So that's why I'm doing that split. And it's been freaking, it's been fun as hell, just isolating my weak points. And honestly, I've been seeing them, you know, blow up a little bit because we were a lot fuller, you know, from all the food. But yeah, so anyway, that's my new split. And now we're gonna take some, now we're gonna take some pre and we are taking, I don't wanna show the, the flavor yet, but we are taking the last, what was it, a heaping scoop? The, la the last heaping scoop that I have of my uh, own pre-workout, my Rye Signature Series. And they only sent me five scoops of this and the four that I've had have absolutely slapped me in the face and hit me like a ton of bricks. And along with that, the flavor and the smell of it is just exquisite. And I'm so happy to call it my own. The only thing I will tell you is that everybody thinks my pre, you know, is gonna be like 700 milligrams of caffeine, but I will have you know, it's not. It's only 300, but I'm not gonna tell you the ingredients that make it feel like it's 500. So there's a lot of stuff in there other than caffeine that makes it, you know, hit that much harder. So that's what I was looking for. I was looking for something that hits hard, delivers a sweet pump, but is also good, you know, for uh -huh. the general population. I saw, I saw some left in there. No, I am, I'm just gonna. Fuck it and dump it. That's what I said. You sure? <laughs> yeah, that's just what I'm gonna do. I should've did that in the first place. That's what I said. I don't know why I was struggling. But yeah, that's what I wanted with my pre. I wanted something that just hit you like a ton of bricks, that tasted amazing, that smelled amazing, and you know, that made you, you know, and that makes you just wanna lift without, you know, you know, without the feelings of like having heart palpitations, like I like, because I know that's not, you know, for the general pop, but yeah, so that's why I made it a little bit less caffeine. But if you could smell this through the camera, dude. Dude, it is so good. I mean, the color could probably give it away, but. Take a guess, put it in the comments. Yeah, yeah, guess in the comments what flavor it is. But we are working on other flavors though, because it sucks, dude. This is like the, the flavor that they nailed. And then they called me up yesterday. They said, yeah, so we sent this flavor in for, for production and then we got it back, another sample back, and it tastes completely different but they send them the same formula. Uh, so they can't get the taste right now. Shit. So I Loki wanted to hold on to this, but I'm, I'm just, I'm fiending for it. They don't have the formula of that safe? No, they have the formula. They sent it to the company, but the company sent it back. And, and it doesn't taste like that. And it doesn't taste like how, how it tastes before, oh, but they can't figure out what, like what happened. But. They'll figure it out. I don't know. Hopefully they figure it out. If not, we're just gonna keep working until we uh, replicate this flavor or get something better. But this is one of one going down the hatch. Cheers, boys. Down the hatch again. Put ice in here too. When this comes out, if this comes out, 
put ice in it. It's just so refreshing. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Yeah, dude, I was fucking low-key freaking out, though. When they first sent me this thing, um, I wanted to make sure, like, it was safe, you know? It was safe from the company that Rise works with. So I texted everybody from Rise, all my boys at Rise, and I texted Brett, I texted Andrew. I'm like, did anybody take this yet? Did anybody, like, take a full scoop? And they're like, no, we just had, like, a little smell test, a little bit of a sample cup, uh, but you're going to have to be the guinea pig. You're going to have to try it out. And I was like why and they're like we're too scared we're, we're too scared to try it out you know but so you're gonna have to do it yourself so the first scoop i shit you not dude I was, I was having a panic attack because it's like your mind starts running wild you're like it's like the unknown so i took the whole scoop and just so happened that day the caffeine my caffeine intake was happened to be low and that's just rare so it was low and then this thing fucking took it and i went to a public gym of course, I go at like five o'clock, sitting at a red light, and I'm like, I'm you ever like, see that scene from Kick Ass when she gets the adrenaline? Yeah, dude, it's like literally an adrenaline boost. I was like, oh my god, dude, I think I'm having a fucking panic attack. And then I just kept hitting every red light, and I went on the highway, dude. There's nothing worse than being cracked out on the highway. From now on, if I go to a public gym, I go to the gym first, pull in the parking lot, take the pre, and then go in the gym because I've fucking slugged this before. Went to a gym 30 minutes away and I was just like tweaking. Yeah, the rise made me be the guinea pig for this. It was a little scary, but it was worth, you know, the trial. Got a sweet pump that day. Did I tell them my weight, dude? Nope. Dude, I'm a thick boy right now. I am so thick. So uh, on my peak cut, I was 184. That, that's as low as I got. But dude, right now, how much do you think I weigh right now? Based off of just look, just one look. You're fuller in the face. I'm gonna go... Dick. <laughs> Dick. Like, no, I, I'll have to agree with like that. 195. 195, dude. You just started, like, two weeks No, ago. because, like, from 184 to 195, that's basically just me filling Trends, out a little bit. Out. Uh, 210, 205, somewhere in there? 204. Oh. Of Sicilian steel, a.k.a. just softer than a cannoli. But at least the pumps and the workouts are good and I don't have brain fog and I can actually talk in front of the camera now. It's weird, I gotta get used to it. I gotta get used to it. Cause I was just living shredded for like four or five months and I was yeah. loving it, loving life. Now I got a little bit of, little bit of love handles and I'm like, I don't know how I feel about this, but it's all gonna serve a purpose when you know, in the spring, summer of 2024, we hop on stage and we're just dick skin shredded. However, this time that much bigger and just way bigger hopefully that's the goal we're pushing we're trying to push to 220 225 hell maybe even 230 on the bulk we'll see how it goes 230. That'd be could awesome. you imagine <laughs> just good old wide back mcgee over here Dude, my, already though my clothes not fitting as well as they were it's like everything's kind of tight now that's why i got these loose pump cover joggers on my shirts i might have to give them to you <laughs> I mean, I'll take I'll take anything you got. Yeah, but it sucks because the second I cut down, they fit normal again. Let's warm up, and we're not going to film a warm up because it's fucking boring as hell. So I'm going to warm up off camera, and I'll see you on the bench, aka the Smith Machine bench, I think. I don't know. I got to check the program. Alrighty. Today's main chest movement of the day, uh, the first chest movement of the day, going with a flat press of choice. Uh, right now, it's scheduled in my program as a Nautilus chest press because I've been working out at a different gym. Um, but today, you know, we, all we have is a Smith. So we're going to do the machine, uh, the Smith machine bench press as our first compound movement. Uh, Smith machine, just gonna work the overall chest uh, when, you're, when you have a flat, you know, bench. But when you, you know, raise up the incline, it's gonna be hitting more of that upper pec. And I don't know anybody that actually does decline press because you just don't need it. It's a stupid exercise. Uh, if you want to hit your lower chest, you know, just hit a, hit a normal bench press or do some dips. But you don't need to do, you know, decline press. So first move of the day, sip the sheen bench press. Going to uh, light up the milkers. All right, just got done warming up. About to hop into the working sets. And something you will notice if you're transitioning from a cut to a bulk is that automatically, which seemingly overnight within a couple weeks, uh, you'll see your pressing strength just go through the roof. Um, so we're gonna be working with two plates for like three sets of 10 to 12 on here, uh, going to failure. But during my cut, man, I could just basically, all, the only thing I could handle was 185 on the spit machine press. 
And um, that was the last time I, I did this movement. And I was just warming up with it and I was just throwing it around like it was nothing. But yeah, we're gonna do two plates on here. Um, but yeah, the pressing strength is through the roof right now. Uh, just because your leverages change while, you know, you, when you get thicker. Like there's less room for the bar to travel, you know, to my chest, you know, because I have an extra layer of fat there. It might be like millimeters, but trust me, when you're dealing with heavy weights, every millimeter matters. So like if I'm leaner, chest is a little bit flatter, gotta go down a little bit longer. All these things, you know, take into account and there's less cushion on the muscle as well. Certainly less cushion on my shoulder because when I'm leaner, my shoulders are fucking just so brittle. They hurt so bad, but now they're just nice and lubricated and they're ready to push in heavy weight. So throw it on the fucking two dishes. How's that one? Dude, I'll tell you, man, that from that fucking video yesterday I filmed, filmed the TikTok yesterday, you probably seen it. The uh, reverse grip bench yeah. press, I tried it out. My right elbow is fucked. It's like clicking, it hurts so bad today. Very sore. All right, throwing on a banger. Let's hit this shit. Let's go. <laughs> Gotta be careful with, with the phone, man. man. Only got 10. I thought I was gonna be able to get 12. But the only reason why I fucked up this zipper, when I went, when I pressed down, like the zipper folded over and it kept going into my, my chest on every rep. And I was just anticipating it on every rep instead of actually focusing on the set. It's like, I just wanted the set to be over. So Throw it to the crap. next set, yeah, next set we're popping this fucking thing off. So, or just leaving it open. I don't want to show them What's going on under here yet, man? It's a little bit thick, a little bit too thick for my liking. Fucking parched, dude. I gotta restock on the Rise uh, BCA, man. They keep me hydrated through my workout. Now I'm just drinking fucking plain water. Who the hell drinks plain water? Shit sucks, it's so boring. But it does work for hydration. All right, next set. I'm gonna try to not crush my fucking chest with the zipper here. Noticing, you know, as I, you know, get deeper and deeper into the bulk, and as these calories do their thing, I just, I getting back that explosive output, you know, that extra bucket mm, that you just don't have on the cut. Just, I feel it. I feel just I can manhandle some weights, and I just really, when I just grip the bar, I'm like really gripping it. Before on the cut, I'm like, oh fucking, I have no energy. Let's get this over with. No, now I'm actually training. I'm not just training to maintain you know, what I got. I'm training to build, man, and I'm training hard. And the pump's already brewing. This, you know, I didn't have any. I literally went from the cut to the bulk, and then, you know, first, you know, week and a half on the bulk, I got my first pump, like real, real fucking pump. Like I just, when you, one of those pumps where you just double in size. I was like, holy fuck, dude. I forgot this was a thing. Like I literally totally forgot, you know, that it was a thing, you know, just, kind of mesmerized by the leanness, but forgot what a pump felt like. And this shit feels amazing. I mean, you can't see it, I'm all covered up, but just the titties just are just, <laughs> just blown up right now. So supple, I can just feel the meat there. It's like a slab of brisket. However, the one thing I will tell you about bulking, a little bit out of breath on the sets. Sweat, you know, after a couple reps, and I'm already drenched in sweat. Other than that, just awesome stuff. And the body fat, that sucks. But everything else is awesome. Feel great, the mood's good, hormones are good. You know, wake up in the morning with the morning chubber, morning wood. 
Uh, before that, my, you know, my coach was like, dude, how's your sex drive? This is mid cut. And I'm like, it's like, fuck, I forgot that was a thing. He's like, getting any morning wood? I'm like, come to think of it, it's been a few months. He's like, yeah, we got to bulk now. <laughs> That's basically what happens, dude. When you stay in the deficit for too long, you know, as a natural, your hormones just start to plummet, you know, over time. And you're like, next thing you know, you're just acting like a girl, dude. <laughs> just every little thing bothered me, you know. But now I'm just a fucking, you know, man. Like, look at this thing. Fucking, yeah, my beard, beard, like, beard. stopped growing on the cut. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But now, it's just look at this thing. Yeah, definitely going to be. I'm going to see how long this thing can get. Brian Wilson beard. Not that long. I want it to be like uh, some of the beards I've been taking inspiration from. Connor's beard from like the Khabib. No, not the Khabib. Connor's beard from the uh, cowboy fight. That beard. Okay. Remember that beard? And you ever see Triple H's beard? Yes. Those uh, two no, beards. Those are solid. Those, those are, solid are like beards. real, you know, real beards that emphasize the masculinity and like that jawline. That's what I'm going for. And then we'll just maintain it there. So I definitely need a couple more inches though. But dude, this has been like, guess how long we've been growing this? I don't know, this has been like three and a half weeks. But at the two week mark, my, my barber was like, dude, how long have you been growing this thing? I, go, I don't know, I shaved it like, you know, on the 14th. It's like, dude, that was two weeks ago. This is insane. It looks, it looks sh probably shorter than it is on camera. Like now, I, I'm like going, like, I can like run my fingers through it. Dude, I, I could, could never. I could like braid it almost. Bulking beard is, is definitely being, it's definitely in a surplus as well. It's in a surplus of beard oil. <laughs> but I'm in a surplus of just chicken and rice. <laughs>on to the upper milkers we got the bench on the 30 degree to target more of the upper chest and you know the front belt um, but we're going with incline dumbbell press and to be honest this is one of my least favorite movements behind the uh, barbell row uh, just because it's, it's so fucking hard and uncomfortable um, especially on my shoulders if they're not feeling too good but they're feeling good today however this is the one exercise where like one day if I'm feeling really good, I could plow the hundreds, no problem. And then like another day, I'd be like, fuck, I gotta use the 65s. Like it's just one of those things where like, depending on how you feel, you know, the weights could differ a lot. Today I'm doing three sets, 10 to 12 reps with a drop set. So I'm trying to think, I think, I think the 80s should do the trick and then maybe do a drop set with the 50s. So we're gonna try out the 80s first, see how we feel on the first set. But I think that's the call. I think I can handle the 80s. However, my wrist, like I said, dude, from, that, from yesterday, that fucking stupid reverse bench, this right wrist and elbow. Yeah, you hear that shit? <laughs> this right wrist and elbow is just shot. Look, you hear that? That's not good. <laughs> so hopefully we could uh, actually do this without any pain. All right, let's plow the 80s. And let's roll. <laughs> you gotta watch that shit. Watch the dismount. Could have just took out your big toe. Solid set. Gonna stick with the 80s. Take our rest times. Uh, and um, yeah, we're gonna stick with the 80s. But on the bulk, dude, and honestly, I should have been doing it on the cut too, but I wasn't. Because just because in the middle of my workouts, I was just dying and I wanted to get them over with. Take your rest times, man. Don't just hop right into the next set. At least, you know, three to five minutes. Um, or as much as you need to go into the next set, you know, with the amount of intensity that you pushed on the previous set. Don't just rush right into the sets to, you know, to, you know, fucking get the workout over with. That's not what we're in here to do. We're not in here to go in, go out. Of course, we don't want to be in the gym for three hours a day. I mean, I kind of like doing that shit, but you don't have to be. 
but you also don't want to rush it and just not, you know, build as much muscle as you can just because you're trying to fucking get your sets done as fast, done as, fast as possible. You want to build some muscle, you got to go into every set with the same amount of intensity. At least that's what I think, I don't know. Alrighty, last set, uh, second set, I only got like, I think nine, so just one shy from that rep range, but I fucking went against what I just told you about the rest times. I was just so eager to hit the next set, I just, I fucking went into it a little bit earlier than I should have, so as a result, got less reps, but I've been resting for like three to five minutes, so now we're gonna hit this last set, and God damn it, I need fucking 10 to 12, and I don't give a shit if it's the last thing I do. That's what I'm gonna get. And then we're gonna go right into a drop set right after this. Dropping the weight to 50s, working with the 80s, so let's get it. If I don't hit the rep range, I'm gonna blame it on my elbow. <laughs> Only got eight. The elbow is kind of hurting on that one. And the wrist too. We'll blame it on that. It's all right, we're, we're still in the beginning phase of the bulk. So the strength is not 100% what it could be, but getting there. Almost forgot, Mike just freaking remind me, doing the drop set. I was so discouraged about that set that I forgot the drop. All right, redemption on here. <clears throat> pump is certainly brewing. Check it out. Check that out. A little shelf build in there. Literally just wreaking havoc over there. Moving on to the last set of chest, and I just popped off the pump cover, and Mike behind the camera is like, dude, I haven't seen you in a while. You look a lot bigger. And I've been thinking I've been looking fat as fuck just because, you know, when you go from cut to bulk, your body dysmorphia is at its all time peak. And he goes, not only do you look bigger, you look healthy. You look healthier. You actually look like you're at the weight you're supposed to be at. And funny enough, I'm supposed to be a lot thicker. I, if I wanted to, bro, I could, fuck. My, my normal walk around weight could be like 220, easy. But I've been restricting myself for so long. I'm naturally a thick Italian unit. But yeah, I feel great. The chest pump is just insane. I haven't been able to peg pop like this in a hot minute. But last set of chest, then we move on to arms, baby. Typically, I would just pop the top, but it's a little bit chunky right here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Maybe I'll just fuck it. I'm just pop it anyway. Oh, fucking A, man. Dude, everyone thinks like, it's true, but everyone thinks, you know, as soon as you start bulking, 
all the weights are going to go up, all the strength is going to go up on every movement you do. And you're right, except the dips and except the pull-ups because I'm a lot more dense now. I got a lot more weighing me down. So the only strength that goes down on the cut is the dip strength, the pull-up strength. If you could do a if you could do a muscle up, a muscle up strength, but I have I can't do a muscle up. I'm too dense. But fuck, man, that is humbling. On the cut, I was like banging them out like it was nothing because I was just I weighed nothing and I was you know had the strength of a 200 and you know 20 pound dude, but I was 185, banging out you know dips, so it was easy. Fuck, man, this is tough. I'm just gonna have to go over to a good movement that's like curls that you know I'm actually stronger on now. So let's feed the ego. Alrighty, time for some curls for the girls. Check that, we all know curls, they get more dudes. But doing some curls for the girls, for the girls. Uh, and then we're gonna do a nice raw, honest, I'm gonna show you the girth, I'm gonna show you the thickness. Physique update, I don't give a fuck bro. You gotta embrace the bulk to look shit, to, to, look, sick, to look sick on the shreds. And uh, that's what we're doing baby. So definitely a lot pudgier than, uh, than usual. And you see me on the gram, but gotta embrace it, baby. I'm gonna absolutely smash this set, then I'll show you what's under the hood. Already about to pop the top. Here's what we're looking like. Fuck. 204. I mean, the arm looks fucking massive from where I'm looking at it. But definitely have a little bit less definition. Uh, but here's what we're looking like. It was Superman. Ripped the shit. We'll take it as a good sign. But honest physique update. Um, another thing on the bulk that I've been doing is I haven't been manscaping just because I'm trying not to look at the physique. So I'm like, I don't even, I leave the body hair on and it's just, it's just starting to grow. So here's what we're looking like, 204. Still have some pretty, it's not bad, dude. pretty visible abs. Pretty visible abs. Try, go back shot. The definition has definitely gone down, but the size, yeah. it's just ridiculous. The it's just the thickness and the girth. How's that? Uh, Right here is this good angle back. Yeah. Yeah, the definition is slowly weaning away. But the size, man. The size is coming. But that's that's the goal, man. Size is the prize. What is this? What is this? Is that your delt? I don't know what muscle that is. Rear, rear delt? Rear delt, gotta be. Flat? I don't know. No, that's lower. That, look delt. at that thing. It's gotta be. What the fuck is that? It's gotta be that's rear a, delt. That's a good thing when you don't know what muscle's popping out of where. But yeah, that's the honest physique update. Do a front double. Here's what we're looking like. A 204. One of these guys. Healthy. 204. Back 
Definitely not used to this, but we gotta grow, baby. And you gotta put some food to grow. The pecs are so supple. That's the one thing I like about being bulked. It's the pec fullness. Like, look at that shit, the side. Let's take some pictures. Alrighty, boys and girls, that's gonna be it for today's YouTube video. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, today was just a little simple YouTube video. Um, just a little vlog for you, coming out of hibernation. So slowly gonna be uh, starting to film more and more for YouTube. Um, but needed a couple weeks off. Sometimes it's all right, you know. Gotta give yourself some time to just, you know, focus, especially when you're on, on the content hamster wheel. That never seems to end. It's hard to explain, but yeah, needed that break, but we're back, baby. We're back and we're thicker than ever. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. Um, hope, leave a like, sub, comment for the algorithm. Helps out your boy tremendously. Keep watching my TikTok, please. Keep watching my Reels, Instagram, and uh, Rise Ups, Young LA, Kojo IV, if you want to save and support. And yeah, guys, that's it. So I'll see you in the next one, and I'll probably be like three pounds heavier. So, be 30.